This video is sponsored by Fossil. Why, hello there, internet. It's Katie. I'm back again with a brand new video for you guys. And today is kind of like a show and tell where I show you guys some of my recent purchases. This was all not done in one go. It's kind of like I've picked up things here and there. I've done this thing lately where I only buy an outfit when I like have somewhere to wear it. Um, which I guess is called like being a rational adult. There's this thing called rent I have to pay for these days So I have to be more rational about my purchasing so I haven't done a ton a ton of shopping as of late So what I'm going to show you guys today are my favorite purchases of the last several months Just like different things that I've bought acquired um, Been gifted things like that. I want to show you guys two pairs of earrings that I recently bought the first pair of earrings that I got recently are these ones from Free People. How do I hold these so you guys can see? Look at me doing the classic like beauty guru thing where I put my hand behind something. And I love how when they turn, they like hit the light in certain ways. The next pair of earrings are also gold. They are these gold circles and they're on like post backs so they're not like dangly. These are from Madewell and I bought these when my parents were in town. So pretty. I wear these like almost every week at work. Honestly, probably twice a week if we're being honest here. So a lot of times. Really? They're putting up a new apartment across the way. So the next small thing I want to show you guys is a fragrance, uh, or I guess you could call it, would you call it? Body oil type thing. It's from Tom Ford and it's called, you guys know I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this. My uncultured self does not know how to pronounce this name, but it's a shimmering body oil from Tom Ford. And I actually picked this up on Black Friday, so it was on sale when I bought it. And it has this like shine to it and it's a body oil, so it stays on your skin a lot longer than a spray. It has an amazing scent. I'm so fair skinned that it's like hard to see on camera. I feel like I'm straight out of Twilight with this stuff. Cause you know in like Twilight where uh, it would sparkle, the vampires should sparkle in the daylight. I'm gonna be that girl, but part of the reason why I bought it is because it looks really nice on my bookshelf. So I recently acquired a bag that I wanna show you guys. So I also have it in brown, as you guys have probably seen on my Instagram feed. I use this all the time. It's a very nice like soft leather. And then this one is the teal version. It has three different compartments, one here, one in the middle, of course, and then one here as well. And it has a bunch of pockets inside to hold your keys, your credit debit card, ID, whatever. This has been a going out staple considering uh, most of my outfits that I wear going out are all black because I just can't seem to buy anything that's not black these days. I have gotten so many compliments on this in the bar bathroom. Every time I wear this out, especially like in the bathroom, I get so many compliments from like random girls. You know how like in bar bathrooms, girls are like so complimentary and they're like, oh my God, I love your purse. Well, yep, it's from Fossil. So anyway, I love this bag. It's the Campbell Crossbody. I will link this bag down below if you guys wanna check it out or anything from Fossil, because as you guys know, I love Fossil with all of my heart and soul. Like half my videos are about them, so. Love it, this bag is great. Either color is wonderful. This one's like more of an everyday color and then this one's like a funky little twist, you know? So I recently acquired a pair of glasses. I realized when I went to the eye doctor that most glasses just look horrific on my face. So I picked up the pair that looked least weird on my face and these are them, they're from Burberry. I don't know the style number of them but they're the ones with this gold bar on the side. They're so great because they cancel out blue light, like the blue light from the computer, so I find myself squinting a lot less. I got them to see the computer like 12 inches away from my face or so, and then I can look down at my phone. I wish I would have had the sense to have these in college. That would have helped me a lot, but whatever. Now I'm smarter. So next up, I have some books that I wanna to talk to you guys about because as you all know, I am a book person. I sometimes find myself just scrolling through Etsy, convincing myself that I need something that I totally don't need and then it just like pops up on my doorstep like three days later and I'm like, oh, hi, whoops. So I recently decided that I just needed a vintage copy of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So I picked this one up from Etsy. It really wasn't that expensive. It was like $40 or so. Um, and this one was published or printed in 1952. Printed in Great Britain by Collins Clear Type Press. And I'm not gonna lie, the most exciting part about it is the old book smell. Like, I'm creepy. I love the smell of old books, hence why I love libraries. To be honest, I forgot that I ordered this and then it just showed up and I was like, wow, okay, that's a nice little surprise for myself. Okay, so the next book that I picked up recently, I haven't started reading yet, but I'm very excited to. It's called The Rules of Magic by Alice Hoffman. A lot of people recommended that I read this because it's actually based in New York City. So I have this tendency in bookstores to, you know, flip through. And this book in particular has a lot of really delicious adjectives 
delicious. I love adjectives so much. I love like really like, I don't know, how do you describe it? Like very sensorial, you know, very descriptive novels. Like I don't love when it's just like, he went to the park, he got murdered. Well, wow, that really escalated. Jodi Picoult, who my mom loves Jodi Picoult, like has all of her books at my house. Um, so she's a very established writer. She said that reading an Alice Hoffman book is like falling into a deep dream where senses are heightened and love reigns supreme. The rules of magic is no exception. I'll read the first sentence of the back. It says, For the Owens family, love is a curse that began in the 1600s when Maria Owens was accused of witchery for loving the wrong man. Hundreds of years later, in 1960s New York City, at the cusp of an ever-changing world, Susanna Owens knows that her three children are dangerously unique. Desperate to uncover who they really are, the rules of magic takes us on a dreamy, unforgettable journey, both thrilling and exquisite, real and fantastic, reminding us that the only remedy for being human is to be true to yourself. So I'm very excited to read this. You guys should pick it up so we can read it together because I'm actually going to start it very soon because I'm almost done with Sweet Little Lies. I was reading it at the hairdresser this morning um, and I'm at this point in the book. So this is another book that I recently picked up that I want to show you guys. It's a lot harder to read when you have like a 9 to 5 job and have absolutely no free time on the weekends. So I'm trying to like force my... It is a thriller, like murder mystery type novel. And if you guys know anything about me, you would know that I love my murder mysteries and my crime novels, TV shows, podcasts, you name it. I love it. Like I'm secretly very obsessed with like anything like gruesome and kind of like, you know, chilling and spooky. I'll read a little excerpt for you guys from the um, inside book jacket. It says, a gripping mystery set in London that introduces readers to a fresh, brilliant new voice in crime fiction. I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys, but it's basically a murder mystery about a woman who is in the police force and she has like some shit in her past that somehow kind of like creepily relates to a recent a murder mystery or like a murder. So it's told from her point of view, just kind of, you know, cracking the murder. And so I'm almost done. She's almost solved the murder and I'm so excited. So the apartment building has ceased. Um, for lunch, I assume. So next up on the agenda of this haul is some clothing that I recently purchased. This dress is from Revolve. Recently picked this up for a um, little gala event that I went to with my L'Oreal team. Um, as you guys know, I do social media for L'Oreal, so I went to this uh, charity type gala. So I got this dress for that event. It's so gorgeous, guys. I'm kind of obsessed. You guys can see it's this shiny velvet so yeah i wore this dress with some very like simple gold accessories um some black heels and it was such a hit so as i mentioned it's from revolve and it's from the brand house of harlow um, and i got a size medium but to be honest it's a little bit big so if you're looking to buy it maybe consider sizing down next up is another free people purchase. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would know that I wear this non-stop. Like I'm kind of obsessed with it for either the office or, you know, on the weekends. It's like a very multi-purpose outfit. So it's a sweater dress. When I first got it in the mail, I thought it was going to be a little too short on me. It really smells like my perfume. Yep, that's definitely me. So it's this really furry sweater. The coolest part about it is the back. It has this like patterned ribbon on the back that you can adjust and tie as tight as you want and so it has a kind of a low back to it. I do believe it's a little bit pricey online um, but it's such a staple. I wear this thing at least once a week so it's definitely worth the investment. So next up while we're on a free people kick, guys I like went kind of ham the other day. Body suits are such a pain but like this one is like worth it because it's so pretty. Um, so it looks like this. It's a black turtleneck bodysuit from Free People. It comes in a bunch of colors online. So it's black. It actually has a lot of fur on it right now because I wore it with like something over top that was like furry. Very standard black bodysuit with a little keyhole back, like a little open back. It is super basic, I know, but I have this like a little resolution for myself to invest in some more basic pieces because I feel like I always buy like elaborate things as you guys can see from this haul and I don't have any basic but it is important to sprinkle some basics in your wardrobe so you can like pair a basic with a pattern or you know just have something like this to keep you warm in the winter so the other day I paired this bodysuit with this sack dress it's a metallic sack dress from free people as well it's a little bit big but I kind of wanted it to be very oversized and roomy so definitely uh, size down if you guys want this to fit more true to size. I'm especially obsessed with anything metallic lately, so this is a winner in my book. Okay, I'm obsessed. So next up is another Revolve purchase. It's a jacket, and this jacket, guys, 
I think this jacket was made for me, like actually designed for me because it is so me in so many regards. This reminds me of a detective, like a detective outfit, like a Nancy Drew, like a modern day Nancy Drew would wear this jacket. So obviously I had to buy it. So it's from the brand La Academy Los Angeles. Be warned, it does have a slight shoulder pad sort of element. It doesn't have like a pad in there, but it has like a puffed out shoulder i think the shoulder is very cool but it might be something that would deter someone from buying it if you don't really love your shoulders last but not least i want to show you guys one more coat that i got from revolve in the spirit of this haul it's also green because i feel like i've had a lot of little pops of green in this haul um but i got this jacket not too long ago it's from the kendall and kylie collection from revolve and i told myself i would never get anything from their collection just because not because i don't like them or whatever but because none of it's really my style so I just never really gravitated towards it but then when I saw this jacket on Revolve I was like I need it because I've recently decided that green is my color up until this year for some reason I've just not been one to buy long jackets like coats that go down you know, to the ground um, but this one's great it cuts off like kind of I'd say mid calf really love it okay so that is the last thing I wanted to show you guys um, oh I guess my necklace my necklace actually also is a recent purchase I don't know if you guys can see it um, but it says Amour on it, and it's from Revolve as well. It was a pretty reasonable price on Revolve. I believe it was like $40 or so, but I wear it every single day, and it doesn't tarnish or anything. So yeah, that's it for this haul. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And as a little reminder, if you guys want to check out this awesome bag from Fossil, all you got to do is go down to the description box below because I have it linked. It'd be a great gift for a loved one or a great gift for you from yourself. Uh, so highly, highly recommend this bag. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye!